Hey y'all, welcome to Pillow Talk with d and &E. As you can see, it's just me. Uh, we are editing a video now for um, our little date night, so stay tuned for that. That should come out this week sometime when I get some time away from school. But today, I really want to talk about the vagina. Yup, the vagina. First things first, I want to give two reviews. So let me tell you why. I um, was diagnosed with cyst, uh, fibroid cyst on my ovaries three years ago. So uh, <clears throat> I've been battling endometriosis since I was about 16. I was even told I couldn't have kids. Um, <clears throat> but I have a beautiful daughter and that pregnancy was very hard for me. <laughs> But um, I've been going back and forth. Uh, I, I struggled with even birth control for a long time. But birth control just really made me crazy. So if you are not one who um, can deal with the mood swings or the added hormones, I would not suggest it, right? So use another form of birth control. Condom, abstinence, whatever. Anyway, back to the subject at hand. So my period... Um, really heavy I've had my period since I was eight fun times <laughs> and so there have been a lot of um ups and downs things to learn things to watch out for so I just want to tell you guys what I've gone through um so just like I told you I was diagnosed with cyst also two years ago I was premenopausal premenopausal and now I am starting to go into that full menopause stage. So throughout this process, I will talk about vaginal dryness, which is a symptom of menopause, but could be caused by many other things we'll talk about. And I will talk about like sexual frustration. Um, and then we're going to talk about like pum pum health, vagina health. Yes. Uh, anyway, first review is for the flex all right y'all you can get this off of amazon it is sold also in target okay it is hypoallergenic um there are no bpas other things i can't spell and um no rubber or latex so when i show it to you you're gonna be like it's no rubber it feels like rubber but it's it's no rubber no latex this is the full fit because i told y'all i run kind of heavy like the first few days of my period and so um this says 12 hour period protection see that 12 hour period protection i'm never gonna leave that in for 12 hours i'm just not gonna do it um where's my little pouch oh here it goes so i brought some little toys to play with unfortunately they're not like you know sexual toys sorry guys not this video <laughs> so it comes this little pouch little cute little pouch and honestly I was very um, intimidated when I saw it. I was like, this is big. <laughs> Not like big, but I was like, it's going to sit in there <laughs> like all day. I'm going to be able to feel it. You know what I mean? So um, what you do is it comes like this. And this is the little thing, just like a tampon. You know, you would stick it in the little hole. You see? Stick it in that little hole. You pull it through. And that's how... You pull it out and see how it dips in it leaks all out y'all this can get kind of messy <laughs> so if you are the type who can't deal with blood <clears throat> who can't who doesn't have everything you need at the moment like i'm not gonna lie in a crunch like if i was in a porta potty or something like that this is not ideal i would not suggest going to sorry i'm gonna Oh, sorry. I would, would not suggest like going to like a festival, going to hang out like that and wearing this cup. Unfortunately, I just wouldn't. However, I do love the cup in general. Um, it lasts just about all day. Just about. I keep it in for no more than six hours. That's just my preference. I just can't do it. I want to take it out. Make sure it's okay. <laughs> make sure there's no leakage, no nothing. So I did wear it through the night though and no leakage and that's about eight hours so this is what it looks like this is the full cup and like we said it's not rubber even though it looks like it very soft you put some oil around it and there's like different ways like they have the like the rose where you can like fold it in or you can do the c which is like kind of the natural way i just put it in i 
put a little bit of oil or while I'm in the shower and pop that sucker in. But once you pop it in, you want to make sure it opens up. So you're going to run your finger around the rim while it's up in there to make sure it pops out. Once it pops out, you know it's secure. You can leave it and go on about the rest of your day. You can even have sex with this in. Now, I have not done that. <laughs> but their commercials say you can have sex with this. So y'all try that. You let me know. I just ain't really, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Second thing I'm going to talk to you about is the Honest brand, right? Um, not the Honest brand, the Honey Pot. I'm sorry, the Honey Pot company. I like the honey pot. I, I, I took it all out because I tore this bag up. So I was like, emergency 911, I need to get a pad in real quick so I can get back to a meeting. And I didn't realize there was like a whole thing where you can kind of like peel it. <laughs> so yeah, it's a cute little package. Um, for this one, it's comfortable, it's soft, breathable, pesticide-free, chlorine-free. So there's no chemicals. It's plant-based and it has mint, Lavender and aloe, right? The mint is meant for cooling, the lavender is meant for calming, and the aloe is meant for soothing. So let me tell you something. I went on ahead, I, I opened this up, and I, I got myself together, you know? I'm going to let you see how long it is because I literally I stay with always because I like full coverage. Oh my gosh, why is this so hard to get open? Okay, I got it open. <laughs> that didn't happen to me the first time. Anyway, so it's pretty decent size. Um, I stick with always though because I feel like they give me full coverage. Like this is my face, this is the size. So you know, this this is pretty good coverage, right? Um, but nobody told me my vagina was gonna be tingling for about 30 minutes. So I'm in my meeting, like my vagina is cold. Why is my vagina cold? Oh my god, my vagina's cold. <laughs> like hurry up and get off of this call at work to go to the bathroom and figure out what's going on with my vagina i finally read the package and i see it's cooling it's nothing wrong it didn't burn it didn't um you know make me itch or anything like that it it was very soothing like it said it was just unexpected so make sure y'all read the package before you do it you feel me do your research the reason why I use these things is because of the fact that I deal with endometriosis. I deal with, um, <clears throat> I have back periods sometimes. So I want to stay away from chemicals as much as possible. And plus, I just want to be healthy. So if you are trying to get, get away from those chemical brands, like always, like this was my go-to brand because it's so thin and I use that purple one. Now this one, look how long this one is. It's a little bit longer. It's not even all the way in the camera. And that's why I like it. It go from the ruta to the tuta. I like it to go from the ruta to the tuta. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a little bit wide as it got older. I'm wide and, you know. You know. So, I like them both. I recommend them both. That is my review. I like them both. It's not uncomfortable. They work. Use them. Purchase them. I think this was like $30, something like that. And these was like between seven and nine dollars, something like that. <clears throat> the honey pot also have wipes and stuff like that. So I use the wipes when I use the, the flex because like I said, when you pull it out, you might get a little, you know, blood on your hands and stuff like that. So just make sure you prepare with the cup because nobody wanted them. All right, that's my review. So let's get into vagina health, right? What you call it? Vagina, the pussy. Boom, boom, but JJ, you know, whatever you call it. First things first, let's be kind to our vaginas. We were built to bear and 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 to to grit a lot. <laughs> we have children, they come out of this little tiny hole and open you all up and split you all up, and then you go back to this normal size, and it just works like normal, and there's no problem. Oh, okay, cool, right? No, I had kids and then all of a sudden, I can't hold my pee. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, like, I'm not out here peeing on myself. 
the more I'm here, like, uh, sorry, I got this crick in my bag. It's the worst little crick. Anyway, I'm not out here peeing on myself or nothing like that. But, like, if I sit on the toilet long enough, I'll start trickling <laughs> again. Like, I didn't just pee, like, five seconds ago. Like, where is this water coming from? Why am I still peeing? So, things you can do to make your vagina stronger, right? <laughs> so, you want to try. <laughs> sorry. Had to, had to step away for a second. Anyway, things you can do to make your vagina stronger. First and foremost are kegels. You're just going to contract those muscles in and out and in and out and just keep them going until they're stronger. Also, planks. Build your core. You know, doing um, exercise. There's all types of exercises out there. Build yourself up. Build your body up so that you're not just... You know, all of a sudden one day your whole ovaries are falling out of your vagina. You don't want that. You don't want that. It's disgusting. It doesn't feel good. It's very uncomfortable. It's very painful. Um, so kegels, let's do those. You, I'm doing them right now. I'm like right now. We're talking. You don't even know. I'm doing my kegels. I'm squeezing. I'm vibing. I'm squeezing. Vibing. <laughs> anyway, I'm moving on. So the reason why I really want to talk to you about vaginal health is because at this point I'm in my 30s, I'm still in school, I'm a mom, I have a business, I'm a wife, and not all of us have so many titles that doesn't neglect from, that doesn't take from what you have to offer or what you have going on in your life. I'm talking about just stress in general. It could be your family who makes you stress, your friends who, who, who make you stress, whatever. You want to avoid that. Why do you want to avoid stress? Well, it could cause you to have a sad vagina. Yes. Did you know you could have a sad vagina? I'm telling you, you could have a sad vagina. My vagina was sad. So sad. So sad. And remember I told you I'm going to talk to you about things that could cause vaginal dryness outside of menopause well i don't know about y'all but i love a hot 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 shower i'm talking about just burn my skin off right and then we got the shower head we take that down and we get all up in there you know all up you know put that leg up you know you put your leg up get all in there and uh with the hot hot water not realizing that could cause vaginal dryness especially if your water is hard okay so maybe you need a water softener or maybe just turn down the heat a little bit very long showers i know we like to just stay in there for hours on end um yeah don't do that it's not good for the skin it's not good for your vagina don't do it stress stress anxiety um the t more tense you are your vagina is a muscle down there so if you're tense your vagina is gonna be tense He's going to be trying to do this, and it's going to be like. And in your mind, you might be like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. But you're tired. You're worn out. And your vagina's like, no, ma'am. Absolutely not. We're not doing this tonight. Sorry. Sorry. No. <laughs> so try to relax relate release take a bath sometimes if you are struggling with vaginal dryness take a bath take some coconut oil rub it around the rim maybe you can put a little bit in the inside as well coconut oil is a great antibacterial oil you can use it freeze it pop it in if there's a yeast infection perfect combination is a little bit of tea tree oil some olive oil, just a little bit, and coconut oil. Put them in an the ice tray. Put them in a the freezer. Save them for a rainy day, okay? Everybody's had a yeast infection. Yeast infections just aren't for women either. They're for men as well. But women, our vaginas are sensitive. They are super duper duper sensitive, right? Like, be kind to your vagina prepare <laughs> just in case so if you're having sex with multiple people you never know what they're they got going on might not match but what you got going on or the foods you've eaten like hot hot spicy foods i love love hot hot spicy foods you know um too much sugar too much dairy all those things that cause mucus 
they don't help the vagina, just so you know. Also, ladies, a little tip. After a while, you might need the foreplay. Let's be honest. Ask for the foreplay. You're not going to be like you were when you was in your 20s and you just jump right to it all the time. I literally can't do it no more. I mean, every blue moon, you know. But I'm doing my spreadsheets. I am now teaching because of COVID and my mind is boo -doo 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 -doo. You can't expect me as a woman to just be like, boop, time for sex. Next time. <clears throat> Next time. It just, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. So, you know, try to set some time up to reintroduce the sexual experience to yourself again. Sometimes you have to do that. You have to reintroduce the sexual experience to yourself all over again. I've been married for eight years. I've been with him for about nine. So, yeah, reintroduce it. And then after that, it becomes easy again. It becomes like riding a bike. And, you know, then you go from zero to 100 real quick. Okay? Sometimes you just have to reset and that is okay. So, let's get to the menopause part. Um, yeah. So, I will be 33 in November and your girl is dealing with menopause. I'm talking about the whole hot flashes, the vaginal dryness. And the reason why I understand vaginal dryness is because we thought it was due to a lot of other things. My doctors wanted to, my OBGYNs wanted to rule out everything else before they said, huh, you're going through menopause. But listen, I've had my period since I was eight years old. It's not unlikely that I'd be going through menopause a little early. And you can go through menopause for 10 years. Um, I went through a whole six months of just hell. Hell with the whole menopause thing. I've been cool now. Ups and downs. Um, but I watch what I eat. I watch, you know, things that have extra hormones. Like, you got to remember, these chickens that we're eating, these meats, they're pumped full of hormones, right? We, as women, we don't need extra hormones. We have the hormones that we need already, right? And some of us need a little extra help, and there's nothing wrong with that. But those of us who don't, let's face it, we have to watch what we eat. We have to watch what we're doing. Drinking water is very important. Make sure you're drinking enough water. Listen, your vagina is your vagina. And I ain't met a man yet who will turn down a vagina for it being hairy, for it being skinny, for it being fat. <laughs> the only thing that I have seen a man turn it down for is for it not being healthy, meaning it having a smell. It not working pro it's not working properly, um, things like that. So take baths. I take baths at least once or twice a week. And I put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in there and coconut oil, tea tree oil, a tad bit of lavender, just to keep my pH where it's supposed to be. I mean, I'm a woman, I'm working out, I'm sweating, I can't always change right away after I get done working out. So all anything can throw off your pH. Anything. So just focus on yourself. Try to think about what's actually happening to your body. I also keep a tracker. When my period starts, when it ends, how I feel during that time. The reason why I keep that tracker is because I can determine now what I've done wrong throughout my period and why I feel the way I feel like that. And I know everybody doesn't have the time to do those things, but this is about you and taking care of yourself. If you do have time, track your period. See what's going on. See when you make a change, how it changes your period. When I started using these products, I noticed I had less cramping. When I started eating better, I noticed that my periods didn't last as long because my periods would last like seven to nine days. Oh my goodness. It was just, it was terrible. It was terrible. But just changing those few things and trying to use all natural products. Do not put lotions down there. Do not put soaps in there. Do not put perfumes in there. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. I don't douche. I don't need to. My body naturally does that. Is it douche or douche? Whatever. I don't do it. <clears throat> My body naturally flushes itself. I don't I don't need to. Right? We don't need to do that. Um, I don't 
do the whole tampon thing um, because of the chance of causing blood clots. Um, and this is just for me. I'm not saying you guys have to do this. It's just my opinion. This is my experience and thought I could share it with someone, other people. Uh, when it came to sex, when it came to trying to fix what was going on with my period, when the doctors really didn't have an answer for me, what I could do, um, literally changed those things. I really, I'm not saying I don't eat dairy. I'm not saying I don't eat meat. I'm just saying that I keep it to a minimum. I keep it to a minimum. I like pizza. I like pizza, so I eat it. Do I eat it every day? No. Most of my food consists of vegetables and fruits and nuts and berries. Like coming to America. <laughs> but that's it. Um, so yeah, that's all I really want to talk about. Stay healthy. Talk to your partner about what you like and what you need. Um, <clears throat> being vocal is not always easy. About saying, babe, I don't, I don't want it like that no more. I mean, because honestly, the things that you liked and enjoyed... When you first started having sex are not the things that you enjoy when you're dating and then it won't be the things you enjoy when you're married you know if you were one who who had sex previous to marriage if not even after you get married you'll notice over time the things that you want and need will change um, so that's it i did my review again just in case you guys missed the beginning of the video this is the cup i use i have to be honest the only downfall to this is it can get messy because you got to pull it out. You got to clean up, you know, whatever. But it does last all day. And then the honest, the, I keep saying the honest brand, the honey pot. The honey pot pads are awesome and they make your vagina tingle. That might put you in the mood in and of itself. But you're on your period. I don't know. Some of y'all freak nasty like that. So, boop, you might like it. <laughs> it's I surprise myself sometimes with the things that come out of my mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Um, but I just wanted to give my little two cents about the vagina. Because, you know, we won't talk about it enough. We won't even say it. How about that? Say it in the mirror to yourself. I love my vagina. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm out.